For the next 14 days, me and my girlfriend Hope will be travelling across Europe, visiting three main cities from three different countries, starting in Rome, travelling to Budapest and then ending in Berlin. I went to Rome on my Italy trip last year and completely fell in love with the city, so I'm so excited to be revisiting it and just seeing everything it's got to offer. But I'm also very excited to go into the other two destinations because I've like never been there before, so I don't know what to expect, I don't know what to do, but I'm just going to go and see what happens. And as always, I'm going to be bringing my camera gear along with me so I can document this like wicked trip with people like you watching and future old me feeling all nostalgic and missing the days where I travelled. So yeah, I've named series the Europa Triple, cheesy title, I know, but it's fitting, three different places in Europe, triple, yeah. But the idea is we spend a couple days in each place and every place has its own episode. And episode three. It's coming to you live from a park. <laughs> we made it to Germany as you can, oh you can't tell it's a park. But it's not coming to you from our hostel because we can't check in yet basically. Uh, we've been here for like an hour or two. Yeah, a couple of hours. A couple of hours and you know we're We've just been chilling. We had some sandwiches and, and I just fell asleep in the park. Very tired, we didn't get much sleep last night. Anyway. But yeah, we're very tired, but we're gonna hopefully get into our hostel soon. So sit out, should be really cool. Oops. I've got all like lines on me. I'm so tired. Yeah, we're, we're knackered, man. We didn't get much sleep last night, as you probably saw in the last episode. We was out kind of late and then we got back and we had to pack up everything. We didn't get to sleep till like 2 a.m. and we had to get up at half six, so we're very tired, beans. But no, we had to get up before half six. It oh, yeah, started we... just before six. Yeah, we had to get up at like we five got to six. Up at half six. Yeah, that's a show. <coughs> but yeah, it's the final leg of our trip, though. That's the thing. It's the final that's stretch. Be such an unflattering angle. It's the final stretch. Back in the park. We have been to our hostel now, but we're actually. Back in another different park, we're just going to explore a little bit. Wanted to kind of portray something on camera a little bit because, you know, got someone. Oh my god, it's like a ski and a skateboard. That's what, that's what I wanted. Anyway, so I kind of wanted to, you know, I want these videos to be an accurate, accurate, um, what's the word, Hope? Depiction? Yeah. An accurate depiction of what our trips are like and what the trips have been like and I think it has been so thus far but we've had like a, a I wouldn't say shit it's just been a bit down this morning so like we've been tired obviously you saw that earlier and then we get to our hostel and everything's kind of dandy and then she says yeah it's 240 euros please and we just look at each other like that eh? And well, me and Hope were under the, the illusion that we had paid already because we did the same, everywhere else we was we paid basically and we thought it was the same for this but it just wasn't was it Hope, we just, you know we got it wrong, you get shit wrong now every now and then so we had to give over 240 euros and that's a lot of our budget, like that's a lot, that's a couple of days budget you know we were at the end of our trip as well, that's a lot of money at the end of the day so we had to hand that over to stay where we're staying. Which is fair enough, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. If we forgot, we forgot. But then we get to our room and it's just not what I thought. It's gonna be like, it was at John and Alice's hostel yesterday and they had like curtains and they were like in the wall. These are just army bunk beds, you know, in a little dorm. And then there's two people already in our dorm. We haven't met them, but their stuff's about. And they've got the bottom one, so me and Hope are on two top bunks. And it was just, we were just down, you know. It was just kind of like, it was a shit feeling. It really was. We've uh, we've got to have to withdraw some money, but you know we we had money in the bank just in case for that. But I wanted to put it on the video. I wanted to get it in. You know, it's how travelling goes, I guess. You know, sometimes shit goes down. Can it help? But we're gonna go do something now and bring our spirits back up. So. Yeah. So after our little rant, we decided to explore Berlin a little. I didn't record much because 
I didn't have my camera out, I just had my phone and I wasn't really feeling it. But we didn't do much, we just explored and got our energy levels back up, had some food. But we topped it off with a lovely beer at this bar which was next to the river. It was like an outdoor bar with deck chairs and everything. And that just kind of like, hmm. it just set the tone again. Like it made me and Hope feel much better about the next couple of days and exploring Berlin. There's Boo. <laughs> here's our room. No, sorry. So here's our room, basically. Uh, there's, we figured it out. There's two girls, one underneath, one over there, but we haven't met them yet. There I am. This our room. This our hostel. It's my first experience of hostel. It's not the worst, is it? Help. Yeah. I think we overreacted a bit. So when in Budapest, our mates had already been to Berlin and they told us about an alternative Berlin tour that they had gone on and that they recommended to us. So we thought straight away we'll get into it because that was the side of Berlin we wanted to see. We wanted to see the graffiti in the underground world. Uh, originally from Berlin, from Kreuzberg and Neukopf, down the south, there's about 180 of them. So you've got a permission piece on the left done by an artist called Roa. So Roa always does pictures of dead animals which are indigenous to the area. You may have seen his stuff in other parts of Europe. Big rats in Shoreditch he's done, armadillos in South Africa. He gets around quite a bit. Um, in this case he's done pictures of rabbit, heron and stag. So if we were folding around this area they would be. Uh, believe it or not he does all this stuff on the ground. I've got to give a big shout out to our tour guide and the company we did it with. The website is called Alternative Berlin Tours and I completely recommend it to anyone going to Berlin. You know, they do so many tours, but we did, the one we did was completely free. You know, you could pay at the end as a tip if you enjoyed it, but otherwise it was completely free and it's incredible to see a different side to such a touristy city. So 100% recommend these, this tour group. And to top off the tour, we ended up at the Yam Beach, which was this like Jamaican beach in the middle of Berlin. It was so random, but again, I wouldn't have seen it if I stuck to the touristy things. So again, I've got the tour to thank for. This place was so cool. It had a beach, Jamaican food, beer, you couldn't ask for more. And after that, we went to the East Side Gallery and walked all the way along it and saw all the art pieces. But one thing I didn't like was the other side. You turn around and you see so many incomplete buildings and scaffolding and everything and then massive like Mercedes-Benz logos, you know. They're quickly trying to build up this these apartments and sell them because they're opposite the East Side Gallery. It's like... They're trying to be very touristy and I don't know if I like that. It was a bit conflicting, especially through what we just saw with the underground world. But yeah, took that in my stride, carried on walking down, saw some amazing art pieces. It was pretty cool.
Thank you. Now on to Checkpoint Charlie, and it's right in front of us, right next to the Mackies. There it is. It's actually a bloke there, isn't it? At all times. Yeah, yeah. My dad found this really interesting. Still now, after a full on day in Berlin, like a full on day, we're both knackered, aren't we? Yeah. It's uh, it's half nine, but we're gonna shower up, get ourselves fresh, kind of relax, go down to the common room of our hostel, grab a beer, and do some research for tomorrow. See how we can get to a uh, tropical island. Can't wait. Absolutely buzzing for tropical islands. But yeah, it's been a really, really good day. I've seen some right, like right, incredible things, like really interesting things as well. Like probably the biggest thing about Berlin was the history. I mean, I, I guess it's the same for for Rome, but this is this is history closer to what we know. Yeah, it's not ancient history, is it? Yeah, exactly. It's not ancient history. It's more modern history, so you can think. And obviously it's some of the most famous history in the world, so... Is it infamous? Yeah, stop making noise, you know? Which one is it? But yeah, that's my bunk, by the way. <laughs> so that's Hope's bunk. That's my bunk. But yeah. I won't take you to the showers, but... I'll take you to the common room after. Um, I look so tired. <laughs> Batty boy. We made it. It's Friday the 22nd of June, July. And it's tropical islands and me and Hope are really excited. There it is. It's so big. So, so big. Like, I'm so excited. We saw it on the plane, actually. We saw it on the plane. Yeah, this definitely was. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely unreal. All right, switch to GoPro. And we're here. Look at this place. Crazy. I'm so happy, but so excited. I'm going under. Get my hair wet.
right, apparently we're going through Amazonia now. It's actually quite freezing out here. But I couldn't like, go into the outside bit, but it's fine. <laughs> Get a shot of that. Get a shot of you. Shot of the This is crazy. Oh my god. It's proper like whirlpool. And what it is. <laughs> it's just a massive blow. <laughs> First side of the day. There's a lot of little kids on it, but I don't care. It's what it looks fun.
by tropical islands. Been here for like six hours, six, seven hours, but. Finally managed to drag you away. Yeah. Hope, hope finally got me out, but it's set. Ah. Yo, my hair is definitely not pink anymore. Look at that. Hope. Like, it's so white. Anyway, <laughs> um, just come from tropical. Look, just come from tropical islands. We had an amazing time. Our heads are a bit fucked after, but it's been a proper good time. But we're at now, I try a train station to get back to Berlin because obviously tropical islands is like an hour away from Berlin, and it's dead. No one's here. There's a like an abandoned building, a tr two train lines, and no trains, no people, just me and Hope. It's a bit weird. It's a bit crazy, isn't it? Oh, been a brilliant day though. Tropical Islands is the one. I am the one. I look so sleepy. Going to the top of the Roy stack should be interesting. It was a uh, was free to do, wasn't it? Hope. Oh. Well, so we just had to look in advance. Yeah, they have to like do background checks, don't you, basically? But yeah, it's free to do. You should, anyone coming here should definitely do it. Rick Steves has been here. Huh? I was not expecting that. <laughs> we were, uh, okay, so we were just stumbling into uh, what seems to be gay pride, and everyone's looking at me. What's everyone looking at? And people just drop from the sky. <laughs> Would you jump in? It's crazy. Not like they didn't just like fall from the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to jump in? But like that was mad. That kind of like woke me up a little bit. <laughs> so obviously it's gay pride. We found out earlier it's gay pride. But like, so where we was the other day, like it's now floods for people and no cars. It's actually quite nice. I like this hole. Watermelon. I love a watermelon. Three 
really nice. It's really lovely memorial. It's really nice. It's nice. It's just weird seeing people take like selfies and stuff with it and seeing people walk on them because at the end of the day it's a memorial that you wouldn't go to a graveyard and mm -hmm. stand on someone's grave and take a selfie, would you? No, not at all. Me and her are trying to be like, really respectful and just strolling through, take, taking it all in. Being quiet, but I don't know. I guess, I guess doing this isn't recording now, isn't it? Like I said to help, I said if it was a park, it'd be like really fun to climb on. Of course, it would. It's not, is it? It's a really historical event. And a really nice homage to it. So after visiting the memorial, we headed over to Hitler's Bunker, which is now just a car park, but below where we were standing was Hitler's Bunker. And after that, we tried our first German dish. Oh. I'm eating a sausage. Do you, want to, you want to try it on camera? I'll try it on camera. Pretty good. Nice. I'm might be nervous. It's for you, Dad. That's actually nice. He takes a second bite. <laughs> Was your dad bright? Different types of sausages, though, isn't it? <laughs> and after that, we went to the Spy Museum, which was a bit more of a light hearted museum. It was just a bit of fun. <laughs> Tapping away. Then I embarked on the most challenging part of this whole trip. Self promo. <laughs> but, but subscribe or abandon there. So, uh, what you, is that lighting good? Is that lighting good? It'd be good if I didn't wear glasses. Just, uh, just leaving the spy museum and it's thunder and lightning out. Like, it's so bad. It was, it was sunny when we come in. Oh my god. Might just wait in here for a bit. 
<laughs> Pissing it down. Oh my good god. It was actually sunny when we come in. It's lightning and everything. Great. From sunny, thrown, decent hungry, to rainy Berlin. Cheers Berlin. It's, it's died down now. It was absolutely pissing it down a second ago. But yeah, you know, it's quite nippy out and I'm in my shorts. Oh well. Some bit of the Berlin Wall. After this we went to Topography of Terror, which was probably the most interesting thing we did in Berlin. It told the story of the Nazis before, during and after the World War in like amazing photos and proper descriptive text. It was so, so interesting. Oh my God, um, let's just make a command dash for it because we've got no choice. This is horrible. It's like being back at home in the winter. It's supposed to be summer. <laughs> Hope managed to get a poncho. <laughs> You're a bomb, you are. Alright. Where is it? The next day was our last and we pretty much did everything we wanted to do in Berlin. So we had a spare day but we decided to go to the Museum of Modern Art and check out that exhibition there. This is sad. This is a sad moment. It's been like a fairly busy day, not too busy. We just kind of wandered around. It was like we were almost like fizzling out our trip. I didn't record much. Didn't take my camera as you saw earlier. But the gallery was re re really cool. Like, just you know, it's sad. It is. It's like we were just sitting downstairs in the common room and I just said to Hope, I went, I don't want to go. <laughs> you don't want to go home. You really don't. Like, we're just kind of sat here now. It's bedtime. My friends are gone. So we are the only ones in our room, which is quite nice because, like, it's a bit of privacy for the last night. We can get up without worrying about waking anyone up. We've got to get up yeah, we've got to get up early. It's sad, man, it really is. We've had an amazing time. Rome feels like years ago. Budapest feels like years ago. Just getting here the first day in the park feels like, you know, a lifetime ago. It's just, it's crazy. But yeah, it's, it's, I don't know what else to say, really, you know. It's just sad. It is, it's really sad. It's our, this epic trip we've been planning for for so long. It's finally coming to an end and you know, now we're just thinking about the next one, I guess. It's how to save money and save up for the next one, but... Oh, God. You want to say? I thought it's been delayed. We've been stuck here for, like, an extra hour and a bit. Like, so far. 
thing is, the airport are doing such a shit job of letting us know what's happening. Like, really bad. We have no clue. I just want to go. We've been delayed for like two hours. Yeah. And we got here at nine. So we've been here for four hours almost. We've been here for four hours. I just want to go out. I'm going. We're moving. Hopefully. I look like I've just got off the uh, the coach for a football team. You know what I mean? Are we there? We might be there. Find me on the plane. Find me on the plane. It's been, it took a while, but we're here. Going home. It's just the two of us. Mm -hmm. Just two seats. Two seats. It's not a bad flight, but it's took the piss to get here. Yeah. We're going home now. Have we got any bogeys? <laughs> no. Nah.